Bar charts certainly are a very important part of IELTS writing task one academic. So with that in mind, this lesson will be exploring vocabulary for IELTS writing bar charts. Specifically, we'll be looking at language to compare and describe. So let's jump into this lesson now. Here we have an example of a bar chart similar to what you might see on the day of your task one test. The most important thing to do with any of the data that you'll see is to take a look at any title first. So let's read through. The number of visitors in three countries over three years in millions. Very useful as it gives us what the figure is in millions. Underneath this, we have the key for three years, 2014, 24, 34. Along the X axes on the bottom across, we have UK, Canada and Australia. And along the Y axes going up, we have our numbers from 0 to 20 million. Again, as I always say to my students, it's important to take a look at the data first to really get an overview of the data and ensure you understand generally what you're looking at. Okay, so once we've done that, let's jump into our lesson. And remember, we're describing and comparing. So to do that, we'll use superlatives and comparatives. I'll show you what these are. Okay, so superlatives. These basically uh, are words that show us the most or least of something. And here we have them. Highest, greatest, largest for the most smallest, lowest, and fewest for the least. So let's take a look at how we can use these words. We'll start here with the UK in 2034. I wonder what superlative I will use. The largest number of visitors to one country across all years will be in the UK during 2034. Largest, which is the most, and I'm actually comparing in this country across all years. So it's a natural comparison, but I'm describing one specific data point. The largest number of visitors to one country across all years will be, so I've got this phrase here, future tense phrase, will be in the UK during 2034. This is a very effective sentence as, again, I'm describing one data point, 2034 in the UK. It's the largest. And I'm making a natural comparison across all years. I'm also in the correct tense, will be, as I'm talking about 2034, unless you're watching this in 2050, which would be amazing. Okay, let's take another look at a different set of data. So a different data point. And we'll jump down to take a look at Canada in 2024. During 2024, Canada saw its lowest number of tourists at only 5 million visitors. Again, I'm making a natural comparison across the three years within just Canada. Saw its lowest number of tourists at only 5 million visitors. I'm giving the figure as well at 5 million visitors. So adding a bit more specific data to this sentence. Quite descriptive, quite effective. So there we have two structures using superlatives. Now, comparatives and generally making comparisons will definitely help you write an effective task one report. Your ability to fluidly compare between different data points and data sets whilst using really great language will help you achieve those higher band scores. I'm talking 7.5s, 8s or higher. So let's take a look at a couple of structures for comparing. Okay, more, few, less, plus general phrasing, plus than. Or we can also use higher, fewer, plus general phrasing, plus than. Now, we'll take a look at two data sets, two data points. 
and we'll make a comparison. So we're going to look at Canada in 2014 and Australia in 2014. Australia experienced fewer visitors during 2014 than Canada by around 4 million people. Australia experienced fewer visitors during 2014 than Canada by around 4 million people. So this is very direct in the comparison I'm making. I'm also saying how much the difference is. So giving more detail again. We can actually flip this on its head and sort of change the structure whilst comparing the same data. During 2014, Australia saw 4 million fewer visitors than Canada and the lowest overall recorded figure. In here, I've even, I've even added a superlative, which is giving extra detail and extra information. I'm kind of showing off my overall fluency ability here too. Okay, let's take a look at this. So just comparing within one data set, Australia, we're looking between 14 and 34. Australia will see around 8 million more visitors in 2034 than during 2014, almost three times the total amount during this year. So there's quite a lot of comparison here between the two data points, which is 2014 and 2034. Australia will see, I'm using a good tense for this, and right at the end I've added this language to describe. So almost three times the total amount. So in 2014 we have 4 million, in 2034 we have 13 million it looks like. So it's actually, yeah, definitely three times. But you don't need to be 100% accurate, although be as accurate as you can. But really, I could have changed this to roughly three times the total amount during this year. But I just wanted to show you uh, this structure with a bit more added detail. OK, so there you have it, guys. When focusing on bar charts, this is how we can use superlatives and comparatives to really describe in detail and hopefully achieve those higher band scores.